What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to Team of the Season Live. This has replaced Team of the Season most consistent. From the players that I've seen leaked already, this looks absolutely incredible. Of course, I get asked a lot, what, what is Live Tots? And we're going to explain it right here. Team of the Season has arrived and kicks off with Live Team of the Season. Live Team of the Season player items will have two opportunities to upgrade depending on the outcome of their club's next four real-world fixtures. Live Tots items will be available in packs until April 26th, 2024. That's one week from now. To celebrate the start of Team of the Season, a Live Tots guaranteed pack has been granted. What? That's mad. Which contains one untradeable Live Tots player item. They've actually just given everybody a Live Tots. That is actually mad. Check out the My Pack section in the Ultimate Team Store to access your pack. Oh, I will. I will. Oh, I will. But first, we've got some player picks. Save your packs for me, guys. Let's let's do share plays on those Team of the Season packs. Save those packs for me. Let's get some player picks open. Of course, we'll rip the player picks. We'll rip that Team of the Season pack. Then we'll go and look at the content and the team. It's probably going to be a longer video today, guys. So settle in. Oh, twice in a row there. God damn. Should be taken there for the exchange, but uh, and of course, if you guys do pack some team of the season lives, let me know what you got uh, on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, wherever you feel like DMing me. Um, I will be there. I will be there. These eighty-one pluses. I'm not actually expecting a, a tots out of these, but the eighty-five pluses, I very much am. And uh, from what I've seen, as I said, from what I've seen from the uh, the team of the season content that has been leaked, these players have got. Huge boosts. Most of them have got three playstyle pluses. Game's freezing in it. Most of them have got three playstyle pluses, but not all of them. Some of them are two playstyle pluses. Uh, wow. Player picks were quite tidy. Uh, right. 385 plus player picks. Here we go. Number one. We get Irene Paradis Nut. Ah! Gaddy. Number two. We'll take an 88 Renard as well. Good for the uh, Kai Havertz SBC that uh, I know is going to be here. Number three. Damn. So no blue for me from those player picks. But let's go and get that pack. Come on, EA, man. Hook me. I don't even know who. Like, I, I've seen the team of all the players. But I don't know the play styles, the stats, the in-games, the skill moves, the weak foots or anything like that. So I am excited. No matter which one I get here. Right. Live team. I can't believe. I, that is actually mad from EA. Oh, I like the team of the season flair. England. DDM. Covent, Coventry. It's Sheaf. 89 rated. I like the flair. I can't lie. He's got. Four star. Four star. Decent pace. Very good passing actually. Very good defending and physical. Decent dribbling. Very good defensive play styles. Wow. He got a centre back as an option. He's not. He'd, he'd be a better centre back, but I bet he's already like 30k. Bet he was already like on the floor for price. Only two play style pluses. He, he literally is. <laughs> he's already 30k. That's mad. This is this is a fodder. This is a fodder, a fodder promo, guys. A fodder promo. Um Right, before we get into the objectives as well, I just want to rob the rob rob rip the 82 by 11. Ah. I presume that these might maybe actually come out of the back as well to be fair. Game is uh, the game is heavy in it. Okay. No duplicates which is quite mad, but no team of the season. Right. Let's begin. <laughs> if you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an extra 6% off using promo code NEP at checkout. All right, with that, guys, let us begin with objectives. As per usual, we'll have a look at what we've got here today. We have got... Live team of the season daily completionist. A thousand XP for each one. That's part. Oh, damn. Look at these menus are gone. 83 by 2, 83 by 2, rare election, premium gold, and 80 by 10. Live team of the season daily play was already there. Live team of the season McGinn. Nine matches with three Scottish players. What is with this menu, man? An 81 by 2, an 81 by 2, a 75 by 5. Concede one or less goals in five separate games. Win seven games with five Premier League players. Score and assist with midfielders in six games. 
and play nine games with three Scottish players and you get a 90 rated, of course, live begin. Four star, four star. Right mid, centre mid and CDM. Really nice passing again. Great short pass, great long pass, good vision. Decent pace, great physicals. Decent defending, decent dribbling. Really nice play styles. Relentless, press proven, technical, slide tackle, anticipate plus. Long born, incisive pass plus. That's a good card with obviously the possibility of some upgrades in there as well. These menus are suffering. Um, so that's, that's, that's not bad, to be fair. Um, and then the team of the season, daily play and daily play completionist. Seasonal, there's probably nothing because it expires on Thursday. And milestones, nothing in milestones either. Okay, so one objective. Right, evolutions. Let's have a look. I was, uh, I was told that we'd be getting two today. And here they are going to be. Attacking mid-connection and defensive mid-connection. They're both prevos. They both require maximum number of playstyle pluses as one. Um, one has to be a CDM. Oh, one gives a CDM, one gives a cam. Overall 87, pace 88, dribbling 88, playstyle 7, playstyle plus is one. This gives an overall of three pace, two shooting, five passing, four dribbling, four defending, four physical. It also gives one star weak foot, anticipate, quick step, incisive pass plus, and ping pass. And then the attacking mid connection gives three pace, four shooting, four passing, four dribbling, no defending, two physical. And also gives first touch, one star skill moves, tiki taka, and rapid plus. I mean, they're good. The Freevos as well, they're good. There's, there is going to be some very good combinations of cards that you can use that are going to be very, very good. Um, we'll take a, I might take a deeper look at those later on today. We'll take a look at them on, um, on foot.gg, but might take a deeper look at like what good connections and stuff we can have um, in a different video later or, or tomorrow lunch. So, SBCs. Brilliant. It's gonna, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. It's very interesting to remember that these are live cards. We have got Kai Havertz. This card, it is as it was in the leak. Four star skill moves, five star weak foot. Oh my days. Left back, centre mid, cam, and striker. Great pace. Controlled lengthy. Great physicals. Great defending, although interceptions and defensive awareness are a bit low. Great dribbling. Great part. Oh my, that passing is crazy. And he's got finesse shot plus, ping pass plus, technical plus, aerial, traveller, first touch, bruiser, whip pass, long ball pass, and chip shot. That is a genuine. Genuinely incredible card. A dead eye chem style at striker, an engine chem style at cam, a shadow at left back, an anchor at DM. Crazy. 10 segments for him. 85 with an inform, 86 with an inform, 87 with an inform, twice, 88, 89, thrice, and 290s, no informs. Cheap. You ask me, cheap. Uh, let's see what else we've got. That is a banging card. And of course, let's not forget upgradable plus five plus two. If he gets the upgrades, because he's already got some stats at 99, the other stats will get boosted. Like a first plus one will get take him to 99 sprint speed, 91 acceleration. The second plus one will take him to 93 acceleration. That's banging. Anything else here for players? No. Upgrades. 83 by 10 is there again. 82 by 11 is there. 83 team of the week is back again. Nothing otherwise. Challenges. Live team of the season daily challenge for a rare election players pack. Icons. Wow. Rio Ferdinand team of the year. 20 segments. Oh my days. Bronze and silver. 83 loan, 84, 86s, 287s, 
488s, 389s, 390s, and 291s. Is he really, like, that good? Or did EA just know that fodder's going to be plentiful, and so it's going to be easy? The exchange is back, which is great. Um, 85, 7 players, 86 for 11, 87 for 19, 88 for 27, 89 for 51. It's exactly the same, um, which is great. I'm glad, I'm glad it's back. I'm glad it's back. And then store. To the store. Yeah, I, I, I personally will probably pass on that, uh, on that Rio Ferdinand. It depends. It depends how common the team of the seasons are because 91s could become really, really easy to use or to get. Um, so we have got a new pack design, but Foundations 81, Essentials 86 Plus, the Wii, the Wii 80 Plus pack. So no team of the season specific packs. I thought we would have one. Doesn't None of them guarantee anything team of the season-esque. This guarantees 286s and 25 rare golds for 500 FIFA points. No 10 coin pack today again. And then we're just going to go and look at the team after this pack. Because I'm excited to see what the team's going to be. So we don't get ourselves the team of the season here. Come on, EA. I know the menus are tough, but let's, let's go. The 10 coin packs are every 48 hours, are they? All right. There we go. Oh, well, Karen Benzema in there. Um, right, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and wait for that pack to open. Let's go and have a look at the team. Before we look at the actual team, let's look at this Kai Havertz. 1.4 million SBC price currently. Cheap, if you ask me. Cheap. Honestly, his play styles are insane. The only one that's not good is chip shot. As I said to you guys, the, the fact that he can play striker, left back, cam and centre mid is wild. I know somebody said uh, in the chat, you'd put a shadow on with 98 sprint speed. I just, I would want that acceleration. So yeah, I would. Um, but with a shadow, he's got perfect pace, incredible defending and incredible phys physical, incredible dribbling and incredible passing. At left back, that is a bonkers card. And he's got, I suppose he's only got bruiser. Maybe I wouldn't play him at left back because he doesn't have defensive play styles. I think with an engine, I mean, that is, that is a wild card as an engine. Phenomenal passing, phenomenal dribbling, phenomenal pace. Maybe an anchor would actually be better, even for that centre-back role. If this is just a good card. And then a dead eye, maybe a finisher. Uh, dead, dead, eye, dead eye is better for it. Dead eye is better for the shooting. Just, this, I mean, it's just a great card. Just a great card. It is a great card. Let's look. Let's, let's, let's go to the SBCs. We've got the live team of the season daily challenge. Rio Ferdinand. The exchange being back. Team of the week upgrade being back, which is great. 77. Major League doubles up. Oh, it's back, is it? I didn't even realize it went. And then Kai Havertz. Love it. Let's have a look. Objectives. McGinn. Daily play. Daily play completion. It's nice. Let's have a look at this McGinn. I don't mind this card as well, to be fair. I like the fact he's got Anticipate Plus, Incisive Pass Plus, Relentless Press Proving a Good. Shadow Chem Style on him. Good pace, good defending, good physicals, good passing, good dribbling and good shooting. And again, we've got to remember, these are live cards. These cards can be upgraded. Good. I like it. Um, and then last but not least... We've got the team. All right, we'll start. Sheaf. They are already 17,000 coins for these cards. How is that possible? Sheaf with the four star, four star, nice play styles. Shadow Chem style on him is good. Very good pace, very good defending, very good physicals, good, very good passing, decent dribbling, very good play styles. He is. 18,000 coins already. Rafa Mujica at striker. Aerial plus, power shot plus, four star, five star. Finesse shot, power header. Incisive, technical, rapid, trickster. Quick step and Traveller. This card is good. 
You pop a Hunter Chem style on him. You've got max pace, great shooting, good physicals, great jumping. How tall is he? Six foot one. Decent passing, decent dribbling. Upgradable. Um, I can see why this card's cheap. 15k. I don't... <laughs> ah, 15k. We've got Alba. She can play right mid, right wing, and centre mid. She's five star, four star with finesse shot plus and incisive pass plus. Chip shot, power shot. Sorry, long ball pass plus. Incisive pass, whip pass. Relentless quick step and first touch. Good dribbling, good pace. Decent positioning and finishing. Good passing, good physicals. Reasonable defensive stats as well, to be fair. You're popping an engine on her. That's a good card. Not a great card. Again, like I, you, what I've got to get my mind into the setup of is two playstyle plus players are now going to very quickly become behind the power curve unless they have literally elite playstyle pluses. David Costa, technical and Traveller plus. Finesse, power shot, incisive. Rapid, flair, first touch, quick step, relentless. Bit mid dribbling. Weird pace split. Not the greatest shooting. Decent passing. This is a poor card. This is a card that I can absolutely see why he will be just dirt cheap. Has potential to get upgraded a couple of times, but I get his price being, being low. He's a centre forward. I'd probably play him on the wing. Has he got passing play styles? Not really. He's got shooting play styles. you kind of got to play him as a striker. I, 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 don't, I, I don't think he's very good. I wouldn't even touch him. Otamendi, Anticipate Plus and Jockey Plus. That is incredible. Fly Tackle, Bruiser, Aerial, Intercept and Power Header. His play styles are very good. Three star, three star, medium high. Decent dribbling for a centre back. Decent passing. Great physicals. Very good defending. Good pace with a shadow. Great pace. Great defending. Great physical. That's a good card. And you'd like to expect Benfica to score eight goals and win two games in their next four, four games. So expect Otamendi up to a, a 91 as well. We've got Morgan Weaver, power shot plus, rapid plus, five star, four star, finesse shot, chip shot, power header, whip pass, technical flair, quick step and aerial, really good play styles. Five star, four star, five foot ten, good physicals, decent passing, decent shooting, decent dribbling, decent pace. She's a winger, but no passing play styles. Whip pass is the only one. I, I honestly feel like incisive pass, long ball pass or ping pass are like so important now like more important than they've ever been for that reason because she's got power shot plus and finesse shot probably play her at striker i'd probably put a hunter on her player at striker i think that could be a really really good card with a five star four star as well can understand again why this card's quite cheap we've got bayer right mid left mid striker center forward four star four star power header and rapid plus i don't like power header as a play style plus i think it's useless we've got acrobatic power shot technical tricks the quick step finesse shot and chip shot it's a good card it's got great pace Decent physical, decent passing, decent dribbling. Finisher on him. Not a bad card. It'd, it'd, it'd be an interesting one. Maybe a marksman on him. Not a bad card. Um, we've got Turland, Sobosly, Marino. Sobosly's down at 270 already? Oh my days. Oh my guys. What are these prices? What are these prices? herlin has got finesse shot plus and power shot plus with five star weak foot. That is a wild comb combination. Chip shot, incisive pass, rapid, aerial power header. Uh, guys, I, this might be a little bit reactionary, right? But these prices make players like this, like the, the, the fact that Sobosly with three play style pluses, upgradable by a plus two, and already incredible in game stats is already 210,000 coins is going to make players like this literally pointless, right? Finesse shot plus, power shot plus, chip shot, power header, incisive pass, rapid and aerial. It's a good card. He's got very good physicals, decent dribbling, decent passing, good shooting, good pace, Hunter Chem style. It's a good card. And of course, I've said it three times already, but let's not forget these cards are upgradable. Sobber Sly has set piece plus, technical plus, Traveller plus, finesse shot, power shot, long ball pass, whip pass, intercept, and flare. 
Decent pace, although weird split. Very good shooting, especially from range. Very good passing, good physicals, good dribbling. I'm probably putting like an engine on him. Yeah, I mean, that's a banging card. That is a banging card. It gives him great dribbling, great pace, great passing, great shooting from range, good physicals, and probably going to get a plus two. That's mad. We've got Mikel Marino. Finesse shot plus, incisive pass plus, four star, four star. Power shot, power header, long ball, tiki taka, anticipate, technical, relentless, and aerial. This card is crazy. He's got very good passing, good physicals, good defending, decent shooting, decent. He's, he's well rounded. This is the sort of card that with a plus two could be crazy, crazy. I'll play him a shadow on him and play him at like defense midfield. He's already 30k. That's mad. Anthony Robin, Robinson from Fulham. He's got rapid plus, block plus, four star, four star, incisive pass, whip pass, jockey, slide tackle, relentless, and long throw. They are very good play styles. He's got very good stats, good passing, good dribbling, good defending, good physical, good pace. You put an anchor chem style on him. He's got great pace, very good defending, very good physicals. That is a very good card. Now, Fulham, uh, like they might struggle to get the goals and wins. But if he does get the upgrades, he's going to be mad. I already feel like because of his pace, defending and physicals and his real cool play styles, he's going to be crazy good anyway. We've got Hincapié. He's got intercept plus, slide tackle plus, jockey block, relentless and aerial. Very good play styles. Got great passing, but no vision. Very good dribbling. With a shadow, he's got top pace, top defending, good physicals. Very good card. He's 67k already. And he will almost definitely get uh, both upgrades as well. Wilf Zaha. Pinged pass plus. Whipped pass plus, quick step plus, power shot technical, rapid and flare. What? Five star, four star, can play left mid, center forward and striker. Great pace, good dribbling, good shooting, good passing, good physical. Probably would expect him to get the full upgrades as well. I'll probably go a maestro on him too. Maybe an engine. Yeah, probably an engine. Max pace. Much better passing, top end dribbling, good physical. I would expect this card to be a bit cheaper based on some of these stats and how people already have like a lot of players anyway. And then we've got Leia Ale Alexandri. King pass plus, jockey plus, anticipate plus, four star, four star, center back and right back, long ball, block, quick step and aerial. As a right back, she'd be incredible. With a shadow, top pace, top defending, good physicals, good passing, not the best vision though. Decent dribbling, four star, four star. With very good play styles. I probably wouldn't play her as a centre back because five seven, and then again upgradable. And then we've got Saint Max, Jonathan Klaus, Bisek, Rafinha, Loftus. Look at the price points of these players, guys. I don't understand. Alan Saint Maximin, Quick Step Plus, Long Ball Pass Plus, First Touch Plus, Five Star Five Star, Relentless Ping Pass, Tricks to Flare and Technical. Banging pace, banging dribbling, very good passing, very good physicals. I will definitely be putting a maestro on him. That is an unreal card. And we'll probably get double upgrades to a 93. He's, he's obviously reasonably expensive at 820k. That's, that's not cheap. That's not easy to come by. We've got, th this blows my mind, 120k currently for this Jonathan Klaus. He's got block plus, intercept plus, relentless plus, right back, right mid, right wing back, four star, four star, incisive, whipped, anticipate, press proven, quick step and long throw. This is an insane card. Pop an anchor on him. Top pace, great defending, great physicals, good passing, very good dribbling, great play styles. And he's already 120k. Bisek, 200k, jockey plus, block plus, relentless plus, aerial power header, bruiser, intercept, and long ball. What a card. Very good dribbling, very good passing, very good uh, physical. Shadow chem style gives him very good pace and very good defending. That is a very good card. That is a very good card. Rafinha, a million coins, technical plus, quick step plus, chip shot plus, bit of a dead play style plus that one. Power shot, relentless, tricks to flare and rapid. Five star, four star. I'm actually, again, I'm very surprised this card is as expensive as it is. Because, like, he's, he's good, don't get me wrong. But 
I feel like people just have players like on this level to the point where I wouldn't expect this card to be a million coins. I mean, it's got great pace, very good passing, very good physicals, and good dribbling. I would probably give him an engine chem style, boost up that dribbling pace and passing to the max. With technical and quick step as well. I mean, he'll be a beast. He'll be a beast for sure. A little bit unexpected on that price point. Ruben Loftus-Cheek, 4-star, 5-star, has got CDM centre mid cam right wing back. Decisive pass plus intercept pass, bruiser plus. King pass, long ball pass, tiki taka, whip pass, anticipate, press prove it Travella. He's lengthy. He's got very good passing, like short pass, long pass, vision is banging. Physical's good. Shooting's good. Dribbling's decent. Give him a shadow. Drop him into your DM role. Get him those upgrades. Happy days. A good card. Kudus. Whipped pass plus. Tricks to plus. Bit dead for a playstyle plus trickster in my opinion. Rapid plus. Quick step first touch. Flare technical and finesse shot. Four star, four star. Great pace. Great dribbling. Low reactions, mind you. Kudus has actually got decent defensive stats. Passing's a bit meh. I'd probably go for a, an... A maestro on him. Gets the short pass, long pass vision up nicely. Gets a shooting up. Gets a dribbling up in the right areas. Good physicals. It's, it's still a very good card. And I'd expect Villa to most likely get the plus two for him as well, up to a 94. We've got Romero, now 900,000 coins. Anticipate plus. Slide tackle plus. Power header plus. Jockey intercept bruiser aerial technical long ball. That is an incredible, incredible set of play styles. With a shadow, he has got banging pace, banging defending, banging physical. Good passing, but low vision. Good dribbling. And four-star skill moves. Sorry, West Ham for... Yeah, West Ham for Caduce. I would, I would probably still expect West Ham to get one or, one or two of the upgrades. Villa was for McGinn, wasn't it? Didn't Villa have two cards anyway? But you know what I meant, West Ham. No, Villa have just one card. We've then got Santos. McGinn's the Villa player. Doku. Averts SBC we've looked at. Bruno and Modric. Lisi Santos, finesse shot plus, rapid plus, flare plus, power shot, incisive pass, tiki taka, technical trickster, press proven traveller. Five star, five star, good physical, great passing, good shooting, great dribbling. I mean, this is a. I'm putting an engine on that. Great pace, great dribbling, great passing, very good physical, good shooting, very good play styles. Five star, five star. That is a wild card for 100,000 coins. Doku. Now that's mad, isn't it? Five star, four star. That is a ridiculous card. That is a ridiculous card. First of all, he's going to get both upgrades, right? He's got power shot plus, whip pass plus, rapid plus, finesse shot, quick step, trickster and flare. What's crazy about this card is pace is maxed out. Dribbling is already insane. Even though his shooting's only 86, he's got 91 positioning, 90 finishing, and 90 shot power. It's the penalties and volleys that bring that down, and who cares? Long shots are at 80. Good vision, good short pass. Otherwise, passing not the, not the best. Good physicals. I mean, I don't even know. I don't even know. Marksman? Quite possibly. Gives him great shooting, great... I mean, he's already got great stats anyway, but... Artist, possibly. Vision crossing, maxed out. Passing is good. Architect, possibly. Gives him insane physicals. Insane passing. Powerhouse, I wouldn't do. Maestro, mm, not really. Engine, definitely not. Sentinel, definitely not. Guardian, quite pointless. Gladiator, definitely not. Damn, I'd, uh, might, might be an artist for me. Gets his dribbling to elite tier. He's passing a big boost. The rest of his stats are great. Bruno Fernandes. This card is wild. Five star, four star. Finesse shot plus. Technical plus. Incisive pass plus. Kinged long ball. Traveller. Flare and first touch. Great passing. Great shooting. Decent pace. Very good dribbling, decent defending, great physicals. I don't even know what, what chem style, maybe a maestro. Max out some of those stats. 
maybe an engine to get some pace, agility, balancing. Gives him great acceleration, great passing. Maybe a shadow and play him as like box to box defensively. He hasn't got any defensive play styles though. Maybe a hunter. Play him at striker. Just a mad card. And obviously the ability to get plus two on this card as well. I've probably got an engine on him. But the ability to get plus two on that card is crazy. And then last but not least, guys, Luka Modric. Five star, five star. Technical, incisive, and anticipate plus. Finesse pinged, long ball whipped, intercepted Travella. That is a bonkers card. Insane passing. Insane dribbling. Good defending. Good physical. Decent pace. Very good shooting. I don't know. I don't know again. I don't know what chem style I'm putting on him. It depends where you want to play him, I think. He's got such, like, it's just a, such a well-rounded card. It's hard to even, like, his dribbling's already so good. His passing's already so good. You don't really need to boost it anymore. Maybe a maestro or a marksman. That's basically, oh, wow, look at that. 99 dribbling, 99 passing, 99 shooting from range. It's good cards, guys. It's just good cards. Um, it's just good cards. And then we've got the new evolutions as well. I, I, I like both of these. I am definitely going to have to have a look in a different video tomorrow or later on tonight, depending on how busy the day is, at what the best options are. Because there are some crazy, crazy cards here. That is a crazy card. Incredible dribbling, good passing, great shooting, great physicals, good pace. There are some wild options. And a defensive mid connection. Got Leon Goretzka, Jakob Kivior again, Fernandez, Frank Lampard fits into it, Kante, Petit, Essien. There's just some good, good, good options. This Goretzka card will be mad. Unleashing potential and then defensive mid connection. Shadow chem style. What a card. I mean, it, it's a lot. It's a little bit overwhelming. But most, mostly, I really like... I like the SBC. I like the objective. The team's got some banging players. The thing that's the most interesting seems to be the price points of these players. And it makes sense because people have already got crazy, crazy cards. But Soboslai at 200k, Loftus Cheek at 290, Incapie, 90 pace, 91 defending, 90 physical for a centre back at 100k. Some of these cards are already down at 15 or 20k. It is mad. It is mad. But that is going to be the end of the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know if you packed any down below. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.